All right, two, whoa, lighting's horrible there. Two things. Today I'm gonna show you a, it's not a secret, but it's an inexpensive way, that the focus, that I treat weeds in my garden or in large areas if I don't wanna go and buy and put chemicals on my lawn. We try not to do that if we can help it. <coughs> Excuse me. And secondly, let me show you these. These were a surprise two nights ago. Turkeys. So we ended up having some surprise turkeys. We did not uh, think we were getting more. We thought all our eggs had been past their good date. So uh, the trick I've got um, is we actually use vinegar. So you can just you can uh, get regular just distilled vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar if you have that, but we uh, usually just get regular old, just white vinegar, uh, put it inside of some sort of a sprayer. So I've got one of the backpack sprayers and that's what we use. You hit the just the weeds with it and it's acidity uh, ends up burning and scorching the leaves, which makes it so that those plants can't create food via photosynthesis. And because of that, all of a sudden, uh, you've got uh, effective weed killer and it's, very natural and if you find and buy the cider, apple cider vinegar or the regular vinegar on sale it's like a couple bucks a gallon at most and, it, and you can dilute it up to a one-to-one -one ratio with water um, although I'm going to do straight vinegar today because uh, we're kind of behind in our garden so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in between the rows of all of our plants and I'm gonna be spraying the weeds and here in about three days they'll be completely dead so if you get it on your plants, you can uh, spritz them off, try and get the vinegar off uh, with water uh, so that the acidity doesn't burn it or doesn't burn it much. But uh, the goal is to try and not get it in the vicinity of your actual plants. So, all right, so what we're gonna do, see you in a sec. I don't think so. Yeah, if we can just get her in here. I sh I've got it all set and loaded, so. We are applying a Tri-Zap. Um, it's an insecticide cattle ear tag. It's gonna help Dahlia with the flies, the black flies, the biting flies that she seems to be struggling with. So we'll try and see if we can get that under control. We bought two fly traps as well. We're gonna hang out. But yeah, that's the next part of our day. Right there, just dump that on the ground, Jay. Well, she was not a big fan of that. And I did put it on backwards, so it's on the back outside of her ear instead of the inside of her ear. But it'll do okay for now.
shake it a little and come right here. Here you go. Is it in the right part of her ear? It looks like. Should be.